Hello guys and welcome to the exclusive part of Fashion 360 where we bring you interviews with people who are trending in pop culture, fashion, beauty and lifestyle. Now today with me I have a very gorgeous actress and her name is Chai Leona. Hi Chai. Hello. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you. Welcome, thank welcome you to having me. Thank you. It's beautiful. Yeah, feel at home. Feel uh, comfy. This is, this is your zone. She's very comfy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> looking very, she's the only person looking very comfortable in the chair. Yeah, actually. Very. Looking relaxed. Like, what, 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 what. Well, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I think shame. we're just like... <laughs> She's just like, yeah. So much sad. I think it's because I'm in the middle. I'm like yeah. holding it together, you mm -hmm. know. Thank That's you. That's a very good way to put it. <laughs> Thank you for coming through. So can we just get right into the questions? Because I'm really interested to learn about your journey. So can you tell okay. us about first when you started acting? Why did you start acting? And has it always been a passion for you? Okay. Uh, all right. So when did I start acting? I started, I would say, 2010 ish. Okay. 2010. It's not yeah. so long ago. Seven years. Yeah. About seven. Ish. Almost, yeah. Ish. Um, and I'll say ish because um, technically I went to school four years for it. Okay. But prior to that, let me tell you about my first audition. <laughs> it was the weirdest thing. And I feel like that's actually what made me feel like, okay, this is it for me. Like I felt at home. I went for my first audition. It was the weirdest thing ever in life. Mm -hmm. I went into a room. It was a blank room, mm -hmm. like black room. And of course there were the judges. And this guy, he was just like, so just imagine you're a... You're an animal. I think it was a cat. I'm not sure what it mm -hmm. was. Um, imagine you're an animal and go. So like, and that was it. So can I say <laughs> that this interview definitely wasn't in Nigeria? No, it wasn't. Okay. It was in, in Chicago. <laughs> yeah, for a Nigerian to act like a cat, you'd be like, hmm. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. But tell, but, tell, but tell me about acting like a cat, though. For, I think what does what, that entail? What they meant is more of like the embodiment mm -hmm. of an animal. You know, it, I, I don't... Like I don't, a spirit I, animal, maybe? No. No? <laughs> no? Like okay. No, I think it's more okay. of embodiment and the movement and maybe to see what I can be outside myself. See if you will live. No? 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 No. no. It, wasn't, it wasn't like that. I'm, just saying, like, I'm thinking about it because it sounds it, it sounds strange to me at least. And like, for some reason... Were you shocked when they told you that though? I was confused. I was okay. confused, but in the midst of that confusion, I... Clarity came. found something. I was um, confused. For some reason, in the midst of the confusion... I found peace or something like yeah. I felt at home, and that's when I realized that hey, I should be doing this. I should be acting. Oh yeah, acting. yeah. But what you tell me about the audition? All I'm thinking about is that. <laughs> yeah. then, it, it was, it was <laughs> probably something like that. It was probably weird like probably that. Went along those lines. Or do you have just... videos, maybe? No, she no they're not. You sure? Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Talking about roles, though, how did you come across or get the roles in life one on one, and this is it? Auditions. Oh yeah. Auditions. Yeah, I came back to Nigeria and I think a year about a year later I came back to do my NYC and a year later I saw Lola D is a director. First of all, coming back, I knew the directors I wanted to work with. I'm that kind of person. Like I will Google you, I will research you, I will stalk you. Not necessarily, but um so when I saw that Lola D mm -hmm. was um holding like an audition for a new series, I was quick to jump on it because she was one on my list and I went to the audition and I got the part. Nice. Okay, fantastic. And I'm um, talking about that though. Do you think you are a stereotype type actor? I mean, you'll have a particular type of uh, role that you like or you can play anything they throw um, at you? Because I have a stage background, in stage there's no limit. You can play anything. You can play an old man if you want. But coming into, because I did mostly stage abroad, but when I came back I've been doing a lot more films, which is what I wanted to do. That's kind of why I came back as well, to do more films and okay. stuff like that. In film, yeah, there becomes that kind of stereotype, and you know, and because I I have this younger look and stuff, so I tend to fall into that younger teenage, and that's how Life One Hundred One came okay. about. Life okay. One Hundred One is a teen, you know, kind of series as well. So in film, yeah, there's that stereotype, but I would like to, you know, play things that are not so safe. So we definitely have more questions for you. But let's go on a short break and we'll be right back with more questions and Fashion 360.